Hello my dear friends, today I am especially happy to see the fans of cars and drifting, because this is what my video will be about. You are going to see a compilation of miniature drift monsters, and it's me, your favorite, Max RC here. So let's start. But before that, I advise you to subscribe and like the video. I wish you pleasant viewing. Red is a provocative color, and this dreamboat can challenge almost any drift car. Just look at it. It looks like a self-confident prof. The detailed interior, smooth lines, those wheels, they all make it a real sports car in miniature. Drifting such a ride is a real pleasure. I am sure that it would be indescribable to turn it into a full-size format, but we are the right guys. Therefore, we will transfer all entertainment to a miniature toy and a massive steering wheel to the control panel. This Supra is a professional sports car classic, which draws attention with its bright black and green wheels, contrasting with the white body and colorful patterns on it. The Supra has appeared in numerous video games, films, music videos, and TV shows. I'm sure you have seen it in Need for Speed, Forza Horizon 2, and in The Fast and the Furious. Its mini version may not be as fast as the other models in this video, but its maneuverability is 100% perfect. It can easily go from the steepest drifts and turns, overtaking the enemy, and not losing its speed. Besides, it is able to create a real spectacle. This model looks amazing on the mini track, attracting all eyes. It will certainly not be lost among the numerous rivals. Did I say something about interior details before? Forget it, because once you open the door and look inside this Mazda, all doubts will disappear. Just look at its illuminated dashboard. There is even a small keychain here. And what is this? A katana handle instead of a handbrake? This is a real classic of Japanese flair. I was really surprised to see it. Is this not enough? Then how about the fact that it also has headlights that rise like in the original model? And as soon as you turn it on, you will hear the purring of the motor, just like the real one has. Together with all this kit, its speed and ability to drift create an awesome combo. Dreaming of a bigger car? Well, I have great news. I have found a model of Lamborghini in gold color. It has the doors that can open up as well as a spacious interior. I mean in the format of a small car, of course. And if you don't like the color, then as far as I understand, you can change it. For this, you will need to purchase additional jars of paint. It means you can enjoy customization to the full. What other model can boast such an interesting know-how? The light coming from inside its headlights as well as its silhouette are just amazing. You can shoot some cool videos and, of course, boast of it on the mini track. It seems to me all world brands prefer grey colour in their products for good reason. After all, it is much easier to surprise anyone with what's inside. It has standard, but pleasing to the eye, grey colour and body, and doesn't have any bright features. But I am sure that there will be those who like such a model, which doesn't have too much gloss and pathos, where attention can be mostly paid to the driving skills and speed. Although, for me personally, this car, as they say, is a real diamond. After all, it is much cooler and more pleasant to become a winner or surprise everyone with your abilities without too much pathos. This bus differs from the rest of our specimens a lot. It's hard to call it a drift car at first sight, but that's why it's worth paying attention to. Despite its look, this car is capable of not only effectively drifting, but also of overtaking rivals. Its wide space wheels, along with a relatively small cabin, give more stability and drive. Another interesting thing about this car is that it shakes like a lowrider that escaped from rapper music videos. Well, I like this inscription about the lunchbox, although some graffiti would look gorgeous on this bus. Hey wait, where's the hood? I wanted to say that, but when I took a closer look at this bright green retro car, anyway, the answer remained unanswered. But I think the lack of a hood makes this model more interesting and extraordinary. Definitely, it is the choice of those people who like to stand out in an unusual way. You can also notice the cool driver, who shakes his head when cornering. Other than that, this mini racing car is just as cool as the others on our list. Yes, we have already had a grey car in the video, but this car definitely cannot be called boring or calm. This Dodge is the very model that people craving for everything daring and mysterious will choose. Just look at these patterns, graffiti and the headlights which remind eyes looking straight into the soul. Neither less no more. It is an alluring and incredible car. The creak of its wheels during acceleration is almost the same sound of rear wheels on the autodrome. If you give its remote control to a prof, it will become a real monster on a mini racetrack and will beat any opponent. Next in line is the Nissan with an unusual design, namely so-called doodle format. Many small and simple black and white drawings merge into one harmonious design. It seems you can spend hours looking at the hidden sketches of this car. And if we talk about the vehicle itself, everything is very harmonious. The print is very maximalistic and sophisticated. The details are simple and concise. The creators of this model definitely know about real balance. 
When will retro be out of fashion? This small copy of the Toyota says, never. Moreover, it will show its competitors up with its rich burgundy color and stylish design. Such a model will definitely stand out in the race. You won't even have to put a strain on your eyes to follow it, as it immediately catches your eye. So if you're into 8-bit consoles and arcades, you'll definitely fall in love with this car. All of these angular lines on this Toyota evoke memories of my father's car. I wonder if it drifts same as the car from my childhood. I think such models of transport exist for these desires. What makes this model different from the others? The driver that comes with the kit. No, I'm not kidding. This white babe really has a human model sitting in the driver's seat. It's funny, isn't it? You are now controlling not only the car, but the car with a driver. Well, it looks as if you are taking the job of a real autopilot. The only thing, you can look at it if you remove the top case. But at the same time, you will be able to properly see the filling of the car and how it works. Besides, you can even drive it without a top. If we speak about racing, such a small car has some advantage because its size allows you to perfectly maneuver among rivals and obstacles. This is the second Toyota in our video, but it is absolutely different from the first. The model is newer, and the color is not so bright and catchy. But do not rush to get disappointed, as it has something to surprise you with. It is so fast that the camera barely has time to capture its every pirouette and overcoming of turns. And the design still doesn't let us down. Although the color is not very bright, it is fully compensated by stylish graffiti all over the body. These inscriptions give it a certain rebellion and challenge on the roads. Therefore, while racing, you won't definitely lose sight of it, at least because it is difficult to lose sight of the leaders. This Lamborghini looks incredibly futuristic, even in its real size. This is the real car of the future, and its reduced copy is in absolutely no way inferior to the original one. Its bright eye-catching headlights, its color, literally everything stands out from the rest of the cars. And although the body of this model is full of various angles, the car still does not cease to be streamlined and delights you not only with its exterior and speed, but also with its drifting abilities. Just look how effectively it is overcoming turns. I am so much delighted by its external characteristics and various abilities. This part is for the retro fans. The next in line is the bright blue BMW E30 M3, which was first shown in the Frankfurt Motor Show in 1985. Did you know that this particular car model was the fastest in the world tour? I am absolutely sure that this reduced copy of the original prototype is in no way inferior. In my opinion, it is worth paying attention not only to the color, as it is already eye-catching, but also to the cool grille on the rear window. It perfectly fits the concept of the car and definitely gives it a special charm. Next in line is a yellow Nissan GTR. It was introduced as a production model at the Tokyo Motor Show on October 24, 2007. It is maneuverable, bright, and fast, like lightning. Looking at this car, you just want hot summer with its dry asphalt to come quickly. Then you can disperse all the dust along the sidewalk by a dashing race. This juicy yellow color literally evokes the atmosphere of a sunny day and endless movement. Therefore, during grey winter days, driving this car in a dry place will definitely create your good mood. And of course, I will have to mention its coolness after this car drifts through its next turn. Well, this model in today's video looks like the Lamborghini which is familiar to everyone, but it is not that much simple. This is not just a model that should be used for drifting and racing, but a real work of art. By pressing a couple of buttons on the control panel, this dreamboat turns into a real cabriolet, and so our mini driver turns from a racer into an average resident of some coastal city like Los Angeles. And together with him, you can catch the vibe of the salty wind in your face and the hot summer sun. It is simply impossible not to mention the Skyline model, released in 1985. For the first time, the RB series engine, which was equipped with the original NISC intake system, was installed in it. In addition to this, two inlet channels were placed by each of the six cylinders. One of these channels was blocked by a damper at partial loads, which improved mixture formation. Also, for the first time, the Hika system was used, which, when exposed to the steering wheel, turned not only the front wheels, but also the rear wheels with the help of hydraulics, which improved the vehicle's steerability during skidding and increase the safe cornering speed. The power of the RB20 DET motor reached 190 horsepower and 240 newton meters of torque. With such opportunities, you just have to win all the races. And this little car, built by enthusiasts according to all the canons of engineering of the original model, fulfills its obligation with its head held high. 
To be honest, I don't know much about the next car. This is some old Toyota, which I have never seen before. However, I liked it. I don't know if it's because of the yellow tint that catches the eye, or because of a perfectly performed passage and amazing drift abilities. I don't know. And what do you think of it? Write in the comments. Oh yes, there is something more. In case someone is street smart about this model and knows some interesting facts about it, please share it with us under the video. Well, that's all friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave your like, and goodbye for now.